All right, I want to start by saying, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. Call Hala Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Call Hala Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakat Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that told me this doctrine in truth and sincerity. Shalom to the elect. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, which means He is or He exists. By Hashem, in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorant calls Jesus Christ, we know His name to be Yahweh Shai, which means He is the deliverer, He is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. By Hashem, in the name of the Rukha Kodash, which means the Holy Spirit, to say what to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. For so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, or of the speckled bird looking like the other nations in your spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you could be one of the elect. Shalom, we've been discontinued from our heritage because we went off following after false gods and false idols, not following the law, such a commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent into captivity. But through our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, being that perfect sacrifice to the Heavenly Father, he's been given all power to be able to sit on the right-hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to the disciples, the apostles, the prophets, and the men on down, to be able to wake up the tabernacle of David before the set destruction. And with that knowledge, wisdom, understanding, we're able to know who our oppressor is, which is Esau, Edom. Esau means wasted away he is, and they are the biblical Edomites that it speaks about in the scriptures that in the latter days would have the fatness of the earth and would rule it with the great sword. And with that great sword comes many different teeth. You have their military force, but you also have their, their television vision where they're able to push forth enchantments on the people, pushing forth fear to bring in their new world order, the Novus Order Sicorium, which is on the back of your dollar bill. And through that fear, they're able to uh, push forth these enchantments, these psyops on the people by, um, you know, weaponizing the waters, you know, as uh, far as putting chemicals in the water. OK, uh, these different um, train uh, derailments that you see, you know, um, the food operational center is being burnt down because Esau Edom is, is uh, you know, um, creating a manufactured uh, siege. On the world, you know, starting with Babylon the Great, Babylon the Great in the scriptures is America today. And what Esau Edom wants to do is bring in his Nova Soda Sicorium through, um, you know, taking away your privacy and offering you security. And that security will be a tracking device in your forehead or in your hand that it can be able to track your buying and selling, you know, what you say, what you do. And you will be, um, They'll be able to watch your every movement because Esau Edom has a God complex. So all these things that are happening right now are part of uh, prophecy that these things would happen. And the Lord has given his prophets warning and we're supposed to give you warning. The prophets, the hopeful elect are supposed to give you warning whether you were here or you forbear of these said uh, dangers, these said uh, plagues that are sent upon the earth. So that's going to be sent around this article right here. It says water contamination is America's still first world nation. So again, America means bitter, okay? And this place is bitter, and Babylon means confusion, okay? And this is modern-day uh, Babylon um, because of all the enchantments that they push, you know, the um, the same witchcraft, okay? And this is what you see, the defilement of the earth, you know, Esau, Edom, defiling the earth. You have miles and miles of just trash of plastic in the waters, Okay, and now you have um, over 15 uh, trend derailments which with, that have chemicals that are what's going up in the air, barium, aluminum also in the air, okay, and destroying these water supplies. And this has happened before in Egypt where the Lord uh, sent forth what um, Aaron and Moses to what, uh, you know, plague, the, plague the, um, the waters, make the waters, you know, stank far as not uh, contaminate the waters. Okay, and that's the same thing that this word is doing in this time. Because through this word, it's um, the judgments are going forth. Okay, that the Lord said He would bring forth plagues on the earth. It says America is deteriorating so quickly that it's hard to consider it a first world nation due to lack of clean drinking water. There was a massive uh, chemical spill in Bristol, Pennsylvania, on Friday. Officials failed to make an announcement until Sunday afternoon. Yeah, because they don't uh, want. Um, you know what they do is they'll they'll wait to see what it actually is and how the people react. And then what the people do is they start to react on these different platforms like TikTok, like Instagram, okay, like Facebook. And then that's how the news, that's how people get the news now because the news um, also pushes forth an agenda, which is what Operation Mockingbird, where they control the media through, um, you know, executive order that Barack Obama passed, okay, controlling what propaganda, 
and what they would actually say to how they how they will actually want to bring it out. Ultimately, cover-ups. But all things are being revealed to the servants of Yahab Hashem Hashai of what this devil would do. Okay? It says, an announcement until Sunday afternoon. Numerous people have sent me links saying the first learned about the chemical spill through TikTok. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. It says, not traditional media. Over 1.5 million people called the Philadelphia area home as the sixth largest city in the U.S. The city sent out mass texts on Sunday, but the surrounding areas were not informed at this time. The government is doing absolutely nothing to help. And government means mind control. And what the government wants to do is control everybody far as they want people to go to these, uh, you know, uh, for help, these cooling centers, these heating centers, these FEMA camps where Esau Edom, they shall help in vain. OK, the modern day Egyptian shall help in vain, which is Babylon the Great. OK, spiritually, Egypt and spiritually Sodom, Egypt going into the bondage, Sodom going into the, the things that you see, the pedestry, the bestiality, OK, the idol worship, OK, the wickedness that's done in these dark places. But now it's being brought to the light. <laughs> The Philadelphia Water Department claimed that the tap water was safe to use until midnight in March 27, 2023. They claimed that the water was safe for additional day after their mass text triggered panic buying. No one, absolutely no one trusts the government. And there has been a massive run on the stores. OK, so when they do that, that mass run, what does that create where they're able to have like there's um, people buying stuff? OK, and what that does is it takes away the resources because Esau Eden wants to control your water and your food. Okay, that's why they make you pay for water because they defile the water. They destroy the water um, that we have, the regular water that could be able to be drank. But what they do, they put chemicals in the air, the chemicals in the water. They put oil in the in the water. They pollute the water. Okay, let me get a couple of scriptures real quick. This is Isaiah twenty-four and five. Isaiah 24 and 5, it says, The earth is also defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. Okay? And even the animals are, are afraid. Okay? They're running from their, their habitats of the wilderness because of a thing called deforestation, where they, just, they deforestate, uh, you know, they destroy the trees. Okay? They, they're they're uh, killing all the bees, which the bees are, are important to the ecosystem. They're important to pollinating. Also, the bats are important to what pollinating on the earth, you know, to create where food and, and, and things like that. OK, um, they destroy, um, you know, again, with barium aluminum in the air. OK, it is defiled because it's under a wicked ruler. OK, and that's why the, the earth is what mourning right now. Because the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. It says Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous and authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear of rule, the people mourn. And you have people running to these stores. Uh, and we saw that about three years ago where people were running to the store. And what were they doing? They were uh, bringing out what food rationing. OK, which that's going to be coming back um, even more and more. They're going to tell you you only can buy one loaf of bread. OK, you only can buy, you know, uh, you know, a, a pack of waters. OK. That's going into um, real quick. This is Revelation 6 and yeah, let me get in the NLT. Revelation 6 and 6. And I heard a voice from among the four living beings saying a loaf of wheat, a bread or three loaves of barley will cost a day's pay and don't waste the olive oil and the wine. OK, this is going into food, but also into water. OK, they're going to start doing food rationing for what water. Okay, hold on to the olive oil and what the wine, which is the, the oil and the wine is this truth. Okay, because this truth is the only thing that's going to be able to keep you stable in this time to be able to keep you away from these plagues. Okay, but we have to go down the straight path. Okay, and this this uh, poisoning of the water has happened before when um, Pharaoh would not let the what uh, is the Hebrew Israelites go. Okay, and what did the Lord do? He sent forth what 10 plagues and what destroyed um a pharaoh in the waters okay and that was a that was a, a miraculous um you know exodus out of out of egypt and this is going to be the second exodus okay the lord let me get the scripture this is john because this is what uh yahweh shai asked um the heavenly father yahweh showing you that they're two different um entities on the same accord john 12 and 28 yahweh shai in red letter father glorify that name 
Then came their voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and I will glorify it again. So the Lord's name was glorified through the works that he did in Egypt by what? Uh, bringing all the plagues on uh, the Egyptians, okay? And being able to save um, all of Israel at the time, all the Hebrew Israelites. But in this time, the Lord's only gonna save his elect. While two thirds of our people gotta uh, die from what a holy, um, you know, no death by pain. Okay, this is Exodus nine begins let's see if i can get it this is and this is going into the miracles that that uh yahabba shimrashai gave moses and aaron okay Yep, it says, Exodus 9 and 27, And Pharaoh sent and called for Moses and Aaron and said unto them, I have sinned this time. The Lord is righteous, and I and my people are wicked. Okay, and that's where the Lord sent forth his judgment uh, to what Pharaoh. Okay, and that's how the Lord's name was what um, magnified through what the plagues that he sent upon um, upon the modern, upon Saki, ancient Egypt. Okay, which is the same thing he's doing now. Saki, bear with me. I don't know why this is. Bear with me. Okay. So Exodus seven and seventeen. Exodus seven and seventeen. Thus said Yahweh in this. Thou shalt know that I am Yahweh. Behold, I will smite the rod that is in my hand uh, upon the waters which are in the river, and they shall be turned to blood. Okay, going into the waters, you're not able to drink out of them because they're turned, what, blood red. Okay, and this time the Lord is, what, turning them to a wood, wood, making a worm wood, making them bitter, where people are not able to drink out of them. And then Esau Edom offers you a solution by giving you bottled water that has pork in it. Okay, plastic is made by pork. Okay, showing you that this devil would help in vain. Okay, this is in the NLT, Exodus 7 and 18. The fish in it will die and the river will stink. The Egyptians will not be able to drink any water from the Nile. Okay, back then they worshiped that Nile River. Okay, now we have what the Mississippi River, which would be linked uh, to the Nile. As far as it goes right in the middle, goes right to uh, Memphis, you know, where you have the um, the pyramids. Okay, and that, that Mississippi River is able to go to all these other rivers and that river is being poisoned. Okay. Because it's spilling what tons and tons of uh, chemicals in it, okay? Where the people that were once, you know, had livelihood through what the fishing, um, you know, the fishing in the water, but also, you know, people were able to eat and drink and able to, you know, sell fish and things like that, able to, uh, you know, have like a little resorts, you know, I would say, you know, as far as when people come to visit those certain areas, okay, now those are going to be cut off as far as the jobs. It says um, Exodus 7. Let me skip down a little bit to 21. It says the fish in the river died in the water because it's so foul that the Egyptians could, couldn't could drink it. There was blood everywhere throughout the land of Egypt. And this is spiritually Egypt. And the same thing is coming. Um, the plagues are coming upon um, Babylon the Great. Okay. Let me get a scripture real quick. This is 2nd Ezra 15. 2nd Ezra 15 and 5. Behold, said the Lord, Yahabash, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, the famine, the death, and destruction. Okay, going into what the four mercies of judgment. Okay, the Lord is bringing that forth. Exodus, um, let me just get the scripture. This is Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel. Let me get it. Ezekiel 14 and 21, 14 and 21. For thus said Yahabba Shemashai, how much more when I send my four sword to judgments upon Jerusalem, the sword, the famine, the noisome beast, okay, and the pestilence to cut off it from man and beast, okay, the no going into the um, hypersonic missile, the, the noisome beast, okay, the pestilence going into the different plagues, uh, you know, the, the GMO foods, you know, the barium aluminum in the air, 
okay? People are trusting in, you know, eating their food defiled, okay? Getting all sorts of, uh, you know, all sorts of uh, ulcers and things like that, okay? And ultimately will be where they offer you the, the, the C-hip, which is something that's physical. They want to bed inside of you. They offer that to help in vain, okay? Let's get that scripture. This is Isaiah. Because the ones that are left out that don't have water, don't have food, Esau Edom is going to offer them uh, help on the side. A UBI, universal basic income, things like that. Isaiah 30 and 7. I'm going to skip around a little bit. Yep. It says, 2. They walk to go down from Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves into the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. So modern day Pharaoh is Esau Edom, the so-called white man of today. The Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts, the Warburgs, the Schiffs, the ones that are bringing forth the siege on the earth, which a siege is a military tactic to cut off the resources inside, to have the people inside bow down to their beast system, okay, which is their new world order, which is their great reset, which they're going to be able to get uh, uh, some of the people taking their sea hip, but they're not going to be able to get the hopeful elect. Three, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion, okay, and Babylon means confusion okay and babylon the great is america today okay seven for the egyptians shall help in vain and to no purpose therefore i have cried concerning this to strength us to sit still yeah the egyptians shall help in vain okay isaiah 30 and 12 wherefore thus said the holy one of israel because you despise this word and trust in oppression perverseness and stay therein therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall swelling at a high wall whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant okay that's why we're supposed to what? Um, suddenly at an instant. This is a Sirach 5 and 7. It says, Make no tearing to turn to the Lord, Yahabah Shemashai, and put not off day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and their security thou shalt be destroyed in the parish in the day of vengeance. Okay? The Lord is uh, coming to visit those in the third, fourth generation, those that hate him. Okay? But those that um, the Lord loves, he's going to offer them. Uh, um, you know, grace and understanding and mercy through what giving them the word and giving them understanding. Okay. Giving them meekness and giving them lowliness. But for the proud. Okay. Second Ezra 8 and 50. For many great misery shall be done unto them in the latter time that dwell in the world because they walked in great pride. Okay. And the great pride is people don't want to humble themselves and come back to the Lord. Okay. Um, they want to sit there and, and they think uh, Yahabah Shem Hashai is playing when he's bringing forth his judgment on the earth. This is 2 Ezra 15 and 5. Behold, said the Lord Yahabah Shem Hashai, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, the famine, the death, and the destruction. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hopeful works are fulfilled. Okay, and the things are been fulfilled. And once those, all the wickedness has been fulfilled, okay, the Lord's going to bring forth righteousness. And Righteousness is on the come up far as the truth is what's springing out the earth. Okay, starting with uh, the elder Abba Bivens in 1969, 1970. And out of that, um, you had what the the, um, the one West camps. Okay, and out of that, you had the head apostles at Great Millstone that are teaching a sound doctrine according to what prophecy that they would be coming uh, meek and lowly. Okay, they would be coming with, um, you know, the doctrine of the Lamb, which is our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay. There was another scripture. Um, all right, I'll go back. Yep, it says, um, yeah, right here. It says, the Philadelphia Water Department claimed that the tap water was safe to use on midnight, March 27, 2023, and this article came out on the 29th, so it came out yesterday. They claimed that the water was safe for additional day after. Their mass text triggered panic buying. No one absolutely, no one trusts the government, and, and you're not supposed to trust your enemy. Um, Sirach 12 and 10, never trust an enemy for like iron is rusted, so is his wickedness. Okay, Sirach 14 and 7, if he doeth good, he doeth unwillingly, and at last he would declare his wickedness. So, he had you, you know, um, you know, where you're able to have water, you're able to have food and things like that. But now he's taking away those uh, dainties, okay, those treats, far as um, that are all set up to to have you, you know, to rock you to sleep, okay. Now he's taking them away. Um, it says no one, absolutely no one trusts the government, and there has been massive run on the stores, 
Remsen of March 2020. Okay, what happened at that time? Okay, that was during the what the, the, the pandemic. The government claims that New Jersey has not been impacted, but they are urging New Jersey residents to conserve water. Don't worry, they are monitoring the situation. Okay? And let me just get that quick scripture. Because I quoted them, but it's better to see it. This is Sirach 12 and 10. Sirach 12 and 10. Never trust that enemy, for like iron is rusted, so is his wickedness, meaning that he will never change. OK, he might paint over it. OK, um, but but it's still that rust is still going to be there. Let's, let's skip down. It says 17. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. So he's going to pretend to help you. And what did they do when the Ohio um, train derailment first happened, when this first kind of started? OK, over a, a couple months ago, you had where they came with the my ID and they had already had that in the works. Um, far as they were going to bring out the my ID, which goes into the C hip, where they were going to be able to track your movement, okay? Uh, having a bracelet around your hand or around your neck, okay? And they they do these things through gradualism, saying, "Oh, that's just that," you know. And now we could be able to put it inside you to be able to further help you, okay? Which goes into Revelation thirteen and sixteen and down to eighteen. 17 if adversity come upon thee thou shalt find him there first and though he pretend to help thee yet shall he undermine thee he will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance okay and at first uh pedal joe didn't want to help out uh far as with the things that happened in ohio okay he didn't want to help out saying no they're all good okay and what and then when he did help what did he do he sent forth fema which fema we know is part of the uh the federal emergency management agency okay so it goes into federal going into these internment camps okay and the lord's the one that's doing that he's sending forth let's, let's get that scripture this is uh this is a uh, revelation 8 and 11 read this in adult t it says the name the name of the star was bitterness it made one third of the water bitter and many people die from the drinking bitter water okay let's read this in the king james version and the name of the star is called wormwood and the third part of the waters uh, become wormwood and many men died of the waters because they were bitter okay and america means bitter okay and that wormwood is going into the the hypersonic missiles destroying the water supply but you're seeing that the lord is doing that far as destroying the water supply um even before the great destruction Okay, with the wormwood and making it bitter, where people have to go to the modern day Egyptian and they what they shall help in vain. Okay. So okay, going back to the article, it says, um, and I'm just gonna get a couple highlights because I gotta bounce out. It says this company contaminated Baxter drinking water plant after pouring between um, 81,000 and 1,200 gallons of toxic chemicals in the Otter Creek, in which flows into the Delaware River. Allegedly, this began when pipe burst Bristol, Pennsylvania. It hit a roof of a building, went down a gutter. From the gutter, it went to storm drain. From the storm drain, it found another outfall basin. From there, started to leak in river. So, um, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, lest Satan should give advantage of us, we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant of his devices that he brings forth what devices mean schemes and plots okay they've been wanting to destroy the water supply why because they can be able to control the water okay they can be able to control your every movement they don't want you to um, be able to have these water wells that people have you know living off the grid they want you to go to them for for the one of all things let's get a scripture this is Deuteronomy, And this happened in 70 AD, okay? And this is happening again in this time, in our time, where they're creating a siege on the on the, um, the landforms, on Babylon the Great and other parts of the world, having the people bow down to their beast system, okay? The ones that the Lord doesn't want. Deuteronomy 28 and 52, and they shall besiege thee, okay, and all thy gates until thy high fence walls come down, wherein they trusted throughout all the land, and they shall besiege thee and all thy gates throughout all the land, which the Lord Yahweh thy power had given thee. OK, and that's what they're doing. They're, uh, you know, building up that wall over here in San Diego and Mexico. OK, and they want they're letting people in the asylum seekers, letting people in because they want mass chaos where they can be able to blame uh, the, you know, the so-called uh, immigrants blame them. 
for certain things. And plus, they can be able to have more people bow down to the beast system. Okay, because Babylon uh, the Great is going to what help in vain, and I keep uh, you know referencing that through the Spirit. Okay, because it's scriptural. It says uh, Tim Thomas seems to be controlling the narrative surrounding the disaster. It's like a material you find in paint. Okay, said Thomas, it's a typical acrylic paint you have in your house. That's really this material in a water base. What's really in the water? Uh, butyrol, accelerant, ethanol, methanol, uh, nothing good. Okay. Um, let me get to the bottom. It says the Biden administration has done nothing to address the panic. <laughs> I told you spreading across the Northeast. They are not handing out water or visiting the area of quell fears. People are now forced to bathe in toxic water and ration whatever drinking water they can find. Perhaps the government would act if people claim Putin had dealings with Chisino since they only care about the safety of their international allies. And why do they care about uh, Ukraine? Because Ukraine is in a proxy war with, with Russia. And what does Ukraine have? Lithium, which lithium goes into the uh, the battery resources that you need for the sea hit. Okay. And they want to bring forth uh, death on, on because they know that a lot of people are not going to comply to their mandates. Okay. Um, it's called Hegelian dialectic, which is pressure from below, pressure from above. Okay. Now let's get into the articles. This is, or it's like you get into the uh, scriptures. This is uh, Job 15 and 35. This is Job 15 and 35. They conceive mischief and bring forth vanity. In their belly, they prepare to see. Okay? They produce what to see. Hey, we're, we're not going to help. We're going to spend billions of dollars and send it to Ukraine while we're not going to help, um, you know, these different train derailments and these chemicals that are falling in the water. Why? Because they want this to happen. Okay? And I read that in Sirach 12. If adversity shall come upon you, you shall find them there first. Okay. And this is going to lead to where a lot of people are going to fight against each other. Okay. This is Isaiah 19 and 2. It says, I will set the Egyptians against Egyptian. They shall fight one against them, one against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. Okay. And that's what you're about to see because the, 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 um, the resources are limited as far as the water and the food. OK, and they're going to make it like that where people are going to start to kill each other. OK, I want to skip down because I want to get this point. It says Isaiah 19 and five and the water shall fail from the sea and the river shall be wasted and dried up. And then they say that it's going. It started from a factory. Then it went into a basin. Then it went into a river. OK, ultimately going into the Mississippi. OK, ultimately all these things are being destroyed which goes into your water system, okay? And it says, and they shall, and which goes into the um, the food, you know, that the that the farmers have for their, for their um, you know, cattle and things like that, the chickens that they're eating, okay? And also going into the people. Isaiah 19 and 6, and they shall turn the rivers far away and the brooks of the defense shall be emptied and dried up and the reeds and the flag shall wither. The paper reads by the brooks, by the mouth of the brooks, everything sown by the brooks shall wither, be driven away and be no more. The fishers shall also mourn and they shall cast angle in the brook shall lemony and they shall spread nets upon the water shall languish. OK, yeah, they're not going to be able to have any more. Again, their livelihood, those that are fishers on that water. OK, those that, um, you know, uh, get money from, um, you know, certain people that go visit those areas on vacation. OK, it says moreover, they it says more over. They work in fine flax and they weave networks shall be confounded and they shall be broken in purposes thereof. All that make sluices and ponds for fish. OK, the workers will be sick at heart. They don't have anything more. OK, going into um, I believe this might be the same chapter. Yeah. Cut. Um, yep. Isaiah 19 and 15. Neither shall there be any work for the for Egypt. And this is speaking about um, America, spiritually Egypt. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or the tail branch or rush may do. So they're cutting off the jobs. OK. And the only way that you can be able to get out of this is through our Lord, Yahweh Shai, if you're of the elect. This is Psalms 91 and 9. It says, because because thou, Sakia, because thou hast made Yahweh, which is thy refuge, even thy most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come out of thy dwelling. OK, so you shall. 
you know, through Yahweh Hashem Hashem, he will put that refuge in that hedge because you have called upon his name. Skipping down to 14, Psalms 91 and 14, because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he had known my name, Yahweh Yahweh Shai. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Okay, and that has to be your faith and your belief that, that Yahweh Hashem Hashem will be able to um, save you from all these plagues, that you'll be able to go down that straight path. Okay, so with that, call Allah Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Rakakwadash, Shalom to the Let, Kwam Yahshallah.